Hey, what's up, Alex here. I made a poll of which type of contents do you like to see more in this channel, and I'm pretty surprised to see the number of votes for home renovation. So I'm wondering what kind of content I can do for home renovation. Just nice, we have a number one trending home reno video now. How about doing like a reaction response video to that? And since I've always wanted to try out this sort of videos for the fun of it. Okay, so the video is NOC Aikens 3 Room HDB Flat Makeover. They're starting this series of house makeover videos, which I think is not bad. Benefit their own employees getting a free reno, good marketing for the sponsors, and of course for consumers, you and me, getting some good reno ideas from there. This video is not sponsored in any ways. So if I mention a particular brand or company is good, you can definitely trust me that it's really good. All right, here we go. Okay, yeah, let's just yeah. move on, yeah. yeah. So I've been living here for about, uh, since 2010, so that's 11 years, and I'm living with my mom. It's a three-room flat. I think it's about 700 square feet. Okay, so how much did uh, this renovation cost? This renovation is valued at $80,000. From financial point of view, 80k reno for quite an old three-room HDB is quite a lot in my opinion. I will probably not spend that kind of money unless it's like the final house that I'm going to live in. Before we take a look at his house, yeah. let's look at how his house used to look like. So Ryan was like... They already sort of removed everything, so you can't really tell how it looks like initially. I think we need to upgrade your house and I said no four times. Yeah. I don't know why, but yeah. Ryan had to convince me. When this happened, right, yeah. I was so busy last year that I only sent my ID shoe one from R and R, rest yeah. and relax. Right. Three photographs. Yeah. Three photos. Three I think I didn't shortlist rest and relax when I'm choosing ID. Actually the companies doesn't really matter too much. What's more important is the ID, that person whether you can work with. So uh, for now, let's go take a look at his house! Alright, so first and foremost, my new sleek windows from uh -huh. SG Glass Experts. They are really quite the expert. It's uh, a bit tinted, so you can't really see through uh -huh. the outside. Yeah. And now, it is the main door, okay? So this is from Undigital Lock. Okay, so they replaced the HDB gate to this glass door. A bit unnecessary if you ask me. Uh, firstly, it's the additional cost since it's like outside and considering condos don't even have a gate. And plus the cleaning and maintenance of this can be also another headache. So they don't just do locks, they do like gates and doors. Like well. not the typical aluminium frame that you see yes. every HDB has. So out. it's very cool because it's actually transparent. You might be asking why? Well that's because we want the sunlight to come in. Ah uh, that... Okay, so if he likes to keep his main door open for sunlight then I will probably choose something without this kind of opening at the side so that you can switch on your aircon at the same time during the hot days. Okay, this, ladies and gentlemen, is called The Legend. It is a collaboration between Kadas and Lamborghini. Legit ah, at first I was like, really or not? It's really Lamborghini. Looks nice, but the Chinese wording with that non-SG telephone number there, a bit spoil the looks. And Plus, the, it's a Wi-Fi and a bird uh, smart lock. From security standpoint, it might not be a good idea. Um, but smart lock is my number one must-have home product. Okay, so right now we are standing at the living room. I think one of Okay, I see conceal wiring at the switches. Good stuff. More shocking cooling factor of the living room, right? Is look at this fan. So they were telling me that my ceiling with a ceiling fan might be a bit too low. Yeah. So Ryan said, let's get you a US. Okay, ceiling fan is really the way to go, especially when you're working on a very small space. Uh, that ceiling is low because I think they did a uh, false ceiling down. So this is actually developed by a local NTU professor, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say it's as strong as a ceiling fan, but it gets the air out, yeah. so it lets the air cool. Like. It sucks up the heat and then it spreads out the cool yeah, air. Yeah. Around. Okay, what he says is correct. Not as strong as a normal ceiling fan. Plus, I think his is quite small. Uh, cleaning wise, I'm not sure how easy it is to clean this thing. Hopefully, it's not a, another Dyson fan nightmare. 
Brother yeah. House. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a seat on my beautiful castle couch. It's so not a fan of custody. Design is nice, but I don't find that their sofa is comfortable for their price. See, it's the perfect grey that I wanted. Yeah. I have to say it suits. Huh? It suits the whole team very well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go from the floor up. The rug is actually bespoke. You know, it's bespoke, right? Customized. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. It's from Arakamete and um, basically you can go down, choose the colours you want, the gradient, the dimension, all. That's nice, plus I think it's robot vacuum friendly as well. We've got a beautiful plant from, from Pollyanna. Pollyanna. Of course. Right? You know, I was very skeptical about artificial plants because I feel like, ayah, do one like lame like that. Wow. You see the splash of colour that it adds to the living room, right? It really yeah. does. And to add to the modern industrial feel. That's really a lot of huge artificial plants in the house. Pretty sure they are, re they are going to collect a lot of dust over time. Sorry, I'm a very practical guy when it comes to all this cleaning because nobody is so free to go and clean all these things every other day. Unless you have a helper at home, then by all means. Alright, behind us we've got custom bricks from Warhub. Yeah. So I got my wallpaper and texture paint from Warhub as well. Uh, good products, good workmanship, and very good customer service. Definitely recommend. We would like to draw your attention to these beautiful standing lights that Ryan bought for me as a gift. Yeah, I bought for him a Soul Luminaire. From Soul Luminaire. Yeah, this is a uh, welcome gift. Alright, and I would like to draw your attention now to this. I think it's important to attach a smart plug to all this essence lighting in the house because you will be lazy to go and switch them on eventually. So having smart plugs, you can set schedules to switch them on and off. But basically, you can cast your phone onto the screen and it will rotate. You can use it horizontal mode right. and vertical mode. Right. And of course, this is the Samsung Zero, okay? You might be wondering, if you're sitting here, how you watch it here? Yeah. You can actually rove it around because ah. it comes with wheels. Yeah. Wow. So you can just bring it to the front and then watch TV. Wow. Okay, you know what, right? Okay, I think this TV is probably not for most of us with a proper TV console or wall to mount it. But I think for his layout and design, this kind of TV is perfect for him. Check it out. What? Shut up! <laughs> Able to rotate by itself is really quite cool. Okay, this one is new. This one is really new. I never see this. Before. Isn't that wow. cool? I really thought you need to manually do it. No. I, I really thought. So when you cast your phone, right? Yeah. When you rotate your phone, it rotates with your phone. Right. Brilliant. So the TV, right, is connected to the Line 8 power socket. I'm just amazed. I don't really like this kind of power rail. I'm quite particular with cable management, so I rather hide the sockets or the cables inside a TV console or something. Because these are things where you don't really need that kind of flexibility unless it is for kitchen where you might have different kitchen appliances requiring power as and when. Power tracks because yeah. it's so flexible, you can plug in anything you want. And then we've got these beautiful blinds from MC2. Wow. Uh, so these are very. I'm happy he didn't get the typical white color blinds with black stripes. But still, this kind of blind is quite troublesome to clean. Welcome to my dining area. Okay, so one of the main things when I decided when I want to renovate my house, I told uh, Rest and Relax that I really want a uh -huh. bigger dining space. Yeah, definitely. You know Naslama, when we come to his house, right? We have to take turn. Take turn to eat. To eat. Yeah. This is about a two meter yeah. table. Yeah. The tabletop is... This dining table I like a lot with that storage space below, but I will prefer closed storage instead of open. The tabletop Finishing is also very nice as well. Yeah. And also yeah. we have got, uh, as you can see, mismatched chairs yeah. from Ruma. Yeah. Pro tip, uh, when you get mismatched chairs, right, when one of them spoil, right, you don't have to replace off. You can just look for another replacement and it will still look like it's matching. Exactly. If not, uh, if everything is the same, the one spoil, uh, you cannot find a replacement, right? That's it. Yeah. Next up, we've got... Okay, I think this can go either way. Somehow, you will still need to find a design that goes well with the overall team. Else, I can imagine it to be quite weird and awkward if you did not do this correctly. Pendant light from Soul Luminaire. Yes, copycat. Basically, whatever I like from Ryan's house, I'm like, hey, please don't Yeah, please don't. except for the wood. La, but. This light not bad, very sleek and modern looking. These switches are actually from a company called Gunner and they are kinetic switches so they don't run on batteries. What? And they are wireless so you can bring them anywhere. So don't need battery, don't need to charge, no, no, no USB. No, no solar anything. power. What the? It's just uh, Wi-Fi and infrared and technology enabled. <laughs> okay, these are kinetic switches which means they use that kinetic energy that is generated out when you press the switch to send that on or off signal. Those wireless switches that I got from Xiaomi and Akara are all battery operated. 
but they're going to last you for a very long time because they're all using Zigbee. The only problem with kinetic switches is the price. It's twice as expensive as a normal smart switch. So if you think that a smart switch is really expensive, this is like 10 times the price of a traditional switch. Come on! <laughs> It shows you old people can change. And let me show you one of my favorite features of the Orbo. Look at this nonsense. So you notice that there's no exhaust hood. Because it's not. Okay, this kind of hood, I did check it out when I was planning to have an island during the reno. You know, I like all this new tech stuff, especially when it looks so slick and help you save some space. I like Bosch products, so I can check out the price. And oh my god. I tell myself, forget it. It's too expensive. There's no way I'm gonna spend that kind of money on food. Then of course, we've got our wells Sorry. water dispenser. Yeah. So there are other water filters um, that are a bit bigger, but this is just very, very slick. My number four must have home product, water dispenser. So I, I think so. Uh, that's how we're talking. Countertop also from Compact Plus. Yeah. And so overall, I think this is my dream area in the kitchen. Of course, it's not only aesthetically pleasing. Again, open shelving with all this decoration display. You know the cleaning that comes with it. Uh. It's also very functional. Yeah. So this house right, is anger proof. You can't slam anything. Oh. It's like, you idiot! <laughs> That's a good demonstration of soft clothes. Unlike mine, totally feel. It's really brilliant. Yeah. She even thought about hanging a dish rack, yeah. which is very functional. And safe space. Okay, this is very nice design. I like it. Finishing. You know, most people uh, will just ignore the part inside uh, yes. to save costs, uh, but they really uh, skin it up to make it beautiful. You know? It's really, really stunning. Yeah. Eh, like the Interior laminate comes with costs. It's not free, so that's why most people don't do it. Area is your vanity, my vanity area. It looks nice now without the toothbrush and toothpaste, all this lying around. Just curious, what's that power socket for? If it's for hair dryer, then I will mount the hair dryer on the wall. Samsung washer. You can also put in underwear that you forget to wash while you was washing. Oh, really? Oh, so that's the part. Like you see your socks, uh, your smaller items, uh, you forgot to put in, right? Uh, you just add it in. Uh. Yes. Initially, I wanted to get this washer, but in the end, I choose the one that has auto dose function instead. The only wood that I have is in my toilet, yeah. and it's actually from Hafari. It's not even like wood wood. Yeah. It's a, uh, cause it's a toilet, right? It's Okay, I got all my toilet tiles from Hafari as well. Definitely recommend. These are actually just tiles with the wooden texture. Go to their showroom at Pai Leba. It's much more variety there. Very beautiful uh, shower fittings. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I think I'll tell you something. My mother uh, is actually quite short. Yeah. So every time I shower, right, I have to fight with her. No? Oh, yeah, right, right. up and down. I, I up come up. in, she go up. Uh, hey, she go down. I, you know what I mean? It's really annoying. So we got the rain shower. Right. So now I just. Piang, wow. And it feels like rain. Babe. Okay, that's really a true problem. If you have a high toilet ceiling, then go with brain shower. But if it's short, then it actually doesn't make sense already. Right. <laughs> you can be on the heater on the way yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I told myself, <laughs> I'm gonna get one. He needs that. Like, he sweats like you. Sweats yeah, see, I'm literally sweating right His now. His sweater is sweating. Yeah. And so Gunner not only did the cold lights, right? right? They also did the automation system. And right. when I'm on the way home, I can literally turn on water heater. Yeah. Legit. And even, even, uh. even set the temperature. Right. And even set what time to turn on every day. Okay. So what's your favorite temperature? I usually bathe quarter. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure how much a smart heater costs because I don't bathe in hot water too. Able to set the temperature is quite redundant, so maybe a switch board to help you to switch on or off the water heater switch is actually more cost effective. Wet area is the stygian. I, I live quite high up and my mom is always throwing Okay, this is my number two must-have home product, but this brand is too expensive for my liking. So the mother room uh, is actually yeah. a very different team. Hey, she, she matched the... Let me tell you all, yeah. this is the most feminine part of the house. Yes. Because right, I made this whole house look like a man yeah. cave. Yes. Previously, right. right, I would like to say the mother room uh, was painted in the... Very hideous shade of purple. Uh, I won't say hideous, <laughs> la, but uh, my personal preference is uh, they are not very nice. Yes. But we painted the wall white. Okay, I actually like the overall design look and feel of his mom's bedroom. Looks really cozy too. Again, that power bar there, a bit unnecessary. And also with this kind of suspended bedside table, can put a cold light underneath, will be better. And at night, if you need to go to the toilet as well. I'm going to let Rosalind show you her side. So when... Uh... 
this is really very well designed. Everything flush and aligned line nicely. No unnecessary drawer handles. Clock is a bit too small though and can get a mirror with those lights for makeup purpose. You've got this beautiful countertop from uh, Compact Plus again. Okay, anyway, good stuff from Compact Plus. Can definitely check them out. It's Robert. <laughs> it's a Samsung power board. Yeah. Yes. And let me tell you, this thing right helps my mom so much. Vacuum Robot, my number 3 must-have home product but I will definitely not get a Samsung one In fact I just bought this from 33 3rd of March promotion the EcoBax D-Bot T8 I haven't even unboxed this yet Some of you ask me which Vacuum Robot brand I would recommend It's going to be Robot Rock and D-Bot but most importantly, you want to get those that is using the LiDAR sensors. Okay, yeah. so Robert's going home, bye. Oh uh, yeah, so you can press the home button and it just goes back. Yeah, you will go back to the yeah. Wow. After it does the work, it will just go automatically go yeah. inside, go back home. But for a three-room flat, plus I think his room is built on a platform, the vacuum might not be very useful already. So you're wondering where's the ironing board? Yeah, where? So it actually comes out here. It's part of the attachment of the uh, cabinet. Yeah. So, so it don't take so well, much space. Yeah. So I think the wonderful thing about R and R is that they really thought of everything yeah. and maximize the, the space. space. Yeah, yeah. Really, exactly. Okay, your problem with this kind of iron board is you can't adjust the height, and usually it's quite small. Personally, I like to get the biggest iron board, especially for guys we need to iron our formal pants and shirts. Big ones are going to be much faster and easier. My room! Where the magic happens. Okay, so when Shu Wen and Rest and Relax came to ask me what do I want for my room, I'm always adamant about having an open space yeah. because I feel like you want, right. you want to connect with the seamless, room. Yeah. Seamless connection. Yeah. So first yeah. and foremost, you got this platform that people... Yeah, his room is platform across. So if you want robot vacuum to clean that area, you need to physically carry it over. So that will kind of defeat the purpose of a robot. Okay, and then you come over here, right? You have actually this platform. Okay, this is what I mean. I'd rather have a power socket behind the TV than to have this power bar with the cable dangling down like this. And another thing I noticed is the placement of the aircon. This is the first time I've seen such design. Straight away, I have all sorts of questions in mind like, do you always need to lift up that compartment? And will there be a lot of condensation happening at the top of that glass clothes rack? Uh, so we've also got a ton of wardrobe space. This yeah. one is a bit of a uh, showcase. And then there is a beautiful coat. If all your shirts or jackets are very normal, not branded, then actually I think it's not necessary. But it looks nice with a little bit of glass there. Then what's really cool is there's more storage space here. So I used to have 20 pairs of shoes like Yep, this is nice, suspended wardrobe that helps to make your room look bigger and at the same time, extra storage on a, at a very tight space is always good. The frame will be seen. Right. Yeah. yeah, and um, it can also, uh, uh, it's adjustable, right? Yeah. So this is my favourite thing because this is literally me, right? When I'm just like done. Ah, the adjustable is really very nice to sit back and watch TV. This is the Mysa mattress, right? And mm. I actually went down to try it. Yeah. And the moment I sat on it, yeah. I couldn't get up. Every morning, I have to spend half an hour getting out of yeah. the bed. Yeah, mattress is really something very personal preference. Really need to lie down, physically try it before you buy one. Yeah. But they are also... Eh? Yeah, you can know. So, if you don't know... What? You, do, right? you don't don't need the remote. You pull only, you trigger the mechanism already. Oh! Yeah. Okay, this is something new for you. You don't even know that Guys, of his house. They no, just okay. installed this this morning. Uh. Sorry, I just woke up. Then it just installed. I did not know that. <laughs> you can just pull the oh my gosh. trigger the mechanism. So the yeah. automation is done by guys. Okay, from what I know, all the smart curtains can do that. Switchboard can, Akara can. Once you move the curtain a little bit, then it will open or close the rest for you. And once again, right, we've got the cove lights here. This for me makes it feel like a very yeah. hotel light. So when you see at night, uh, it really ha lends the very sexy feel. And the really cool thing about these cove lights are uh, all across, actually all the lights. Mm. Uh, That's right, cove lights are really nice. But I would prefer some RGB strips or at the TV backlight. Gives a different flair and ambience to it based on the colour combination. Much more interesting. So that it can really maximize the yeah. space la. Yeah. And I like to have friends over so Correct. it just helps to like you know chit chat. But there's a problem about this not. Yes. So imagine, imagine he argue with his mother. Correct. And then he angry. Say, I don't want to talk to you already. 
It will take some time to yeah. slam the door. So I cannot slam the door. Yeah. If I do, it will look like that. Hey! Shut up, uh, you! <laughs> okay, this part is quite funny. If I'm him, I will keep it closed most of the time, then just leave one panel to open or close like this. So, we hope that you enjoyed our home tour. I think a rest and relax did a great job with a three-room HDB flat. Yeah, if you are living in a three-room flat, right, you can consider this layout because I really think that it's very efficient and classy. Exactly. Yes. Um, before we get... Okay, that's basically the end of the entire house tour. Some thoughts on the layout. If you're not expecting frequent guests from visiting your place, then maybe you can do away with that six-seater dining table since you already have an island. For me, I cannot do without a proper desk setup. So for his room, I will definitely have a desk with a smaller monitor. Then you still have space for a big screen to be placed on top so that you can still enjoy watching while lying on the bed. Uh, overall, this is really a very well-made and funny video. Well deserved to be number one trending. Okay, I'm almost going to end off without announcing last video's giveaway. So the lucky winners are Joey Chiu and Jia Hui. Same thing, look for my email address at the above page of my YouTube channel or you can DM me on IG. Hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!